Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So, huh, all right, so I've been thinking a lot about what do I wanna make a video about? Um, and so after giving it some thought, I decided that uh, what I really wanted to make a video about is detox. So I know that I made a video about detoxing about like, you know, a while ago. Um, and but I decided to make another video about detoxing um, just to kind of update you on my life and what's going on and just talk about something that's um, a very kind of big thing in my life. Um, and something that I value uh, greatly. So first things first is, well, I cut my hair. <laughs> so I just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, that was the first part of my detox. Um, I felt like I just needed a change and I feel like, you know, I always try to grow out my hair and then every time I'm growing it out, halfway through or Maybe a few months into it, I find that like, I don't know, I don't know if I'm really feeling this. Like, I feel like, because I'm not that tall, I'm pretty short, um, but I feel like when I have the long hair and I try and grow it out, I just feel like it just weighs me down and I'm just carrying all this other stuff with me and I don't really like it. So I decided to chop it off and I feel so much better, so much lighter. Um, I don't know. I feel good. I love it. It's great. Uh, I take a shower. I come out. I could just blow dry my hair or it'll just air dry on its own pretty quickly. And I love that. Uh, really, really fast, simple, easy, quick. I love it. Um, the other thing. Oh, another tip. Um, so something I've been doing and experimenting with lately a lot is hair oils. And I've been doing it for almost like a year now. Um, and I am obsessed with it. I love it and I highly, highly encourage it and recommend it. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I am gonna make a video on hair oils and I'll probably just make a video showing you guys the hair oils that um, I've either tried in the past or I'm using currently and I'll let you know which ones I liked or which ones I stopped using or which ones I stick to now because they literally saved my hair. Like, and when I say literally, I mean literally. So yeah, um, I don't use any hairspray, I don't use any mousse, I don't use any gel. Um, yeah, I, I just use hair oils and that's it. Um, so yeah, so I'll make a video about that. But anyways, backtracking back to detoxing. So I've noticed that I haven't been feeling my best and I know that it's 100% because I haven't been eating as clean as I maybe have in the past. So um, in my older videos, if you look back, I kind of explained it. But um, I used to eat, well, I did a raw food, uh, I followed the raw food lifestyle for a couple of months. And I absolutely loved it. It literally changed my life. Uh, but I did not stick to it. Um, instead, what I did was I did eat just fruit and vegetables, but then I started to cook a lot of my vegetables. That's weird. So I didn't touch anything in the car, but the windshield wipers just went on by themselves and now they stopped. That was so weird. <laughs> okay, awkward, but anyways, <laughs> that was so weird. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so I started to cook my vegetables. So I ate, um, you know, fruit and veggies, but I ate them cooked sometimes, especially for dinner. And in the winter time, it's kind of hard to just eat raw, especially if you're living in a colder climate. And so for me, it was pretty difficult because I get cold as it is, and then not eating anything hot was kind of like, I don't know, I felt like I was depriving my body. So I started to crave, you know, hot potatoes or other veggies, things like that. So in the winter time, I ate a lot of uh, baked potatoes and salad, especially for dinner time. Um, and although I still felt good, um, 
I didn't feel as amazing as I did when I was just strictly on raw food. Um, and then over the course of a couple of months, I did also start to incorporate a little bit of fish in my diet uh, because I felt like my body was craving it and I I, I don't like the concept of feeling deprived and limited. Um, I don't think that it's ever good to feel limited. So if you make yourself feel limited, you're not gonna have a successful uh, life, you're not gonna have a happy life, and it's just, it's not good all around. You know, you're gonna start feeling negative towards yourself, and then that negativity is gonna build up, and then it's gonna overfill in your body, so everyone that you communicate with, you know, you're just gonna be trying to throw that negativity on them, and that's not good. Um, so what I decided is to incorporate more fish into my diet. Um, I did that, um, and then I found this vegan cheese that I was absolutely obsessed with. So I like, I think I overate it. And so I think that's why I've been having a lot of like different like stomach issues, and I haven't been feeling as great as I normally do. Uh, which is exactly why um, I've decided that I just need to really go on a full detox and completely just cleanse my body out because I know that when I detox and when I cleanse and when I eat completely clean I feel great I feel energized I don't feel any issues I don't feel any pain I mean literally nothing um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet um, so but as of right now uh, I am sticking to um, potatoes that's kind of like a big portion of my diet um, and I think that I'm gonna do a juice cleanse in a couple of days when it gets a little bit warmer out um, just so that I can feel better and you know I always look at food as kind of like cellular nutrition so it's not about just feeding my stomach you know if my stomach's like oh I'm hungry it's like whatever oh just let me put something in there no not how I look at it um, I look at it in the sense of if I'm hungry and I'm gonna be eating something I want to eat something that's nutritious because it's gonna get broken down in my system and then I'm gonna be absorbing the nutrients that's in whatever it is that I eat so obviously um, if I'm eating and I'm still feeling hungry then I'm missing some kind of you know either some vitamins or um, minerals or whatever it is um, so I think a juice cleanse is probably the best thing so the reason why I also wanted to make this video is to kind of invite you guys to join me on that juice fast um, I haven't decided how long I'm gonna do it for and when exactly I'm starting but most likely um, in a week or so but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make another video where I kind of explain the juice fast and how it works and tell you guys how you can prepare for it uh, so maybe we'll do a juice fast in two weeks that way you can prepare yourselves and I would love it love it love it if you did it with me because I can guarantee you that you will feel like a whole new person you will feel vibrant you will feel uh, weightless well, I mean, you'll have weight, but you'll definitely feel a lot lighter than you do right now. Uh, you'll feel energized. Um, your skin is just going to glow. Um, I mean, you're just going to be happy and you're not going to know why you're happy. You're just going to be happy and that's that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I just love it. I think it's amazing. Um, so I highly encourage it and I really hope that you guys will join me and yeah all right so i'll see you guys next time and um i'll tell you guys about what you might need to know before starting the juice fast and the things that you might want to consider um buying when you go do your grocery shopping um in order to prepare for the juice fast all right bye guys <laughs>